everyone and welcome to Cooking in Manhattan. Today we are revisiting an all-time favorite Italian classic, meatballs. These are not your average Italian meatballs. First, because they're not fried and second, because I'm gonna give them a delicious, delicious Mediterranean flavor with lemon zest and parsley. So let me go through all the ingredients with you. I have three pounds of meat. Let me teach you a little trick about uh, making meatloaf or meatballs. Um, it's always better if you have more than one kind of um, meat. So I have ground pork, ground veal, and ground beef here. Then I have eggs. I will decide how many eggs I'm gonna put in this depending on how moist uh, my ground meat is. Then I have one half Cup. Actually, it's one cup of uh, breadcrumbs. It's the Italian uh, breadcrumbs. I bought them in a store because I didn't have time to make them myself. But if you can make them at home, it's even better, obviously. Then I have one cup of parmigiano because you know how much I love it. And, you know, it's just great to have that little cheesiness in the meatballs. And then the aromatics. There are half a cup of uh, minced onion. Um, more or less one tablespoon of minced garlic. And like I said, obviously we have the lemon zest, this is one tablespoon, and a quarter cup of parsley. So let's get started. The best tip that I can give you to make the perfect meatballs is to leave the, the meat outside of the fridge for 5 or 10 minutes before you start preparing it. And now I am going to mix the meats together, the ground meats together. I have also cracked open four uh, eggs. I'm going to start with four eggs because I still don't know how moist this meat is going to be. So if I need any more, I have two more that I can add to my, um, to my mix. Okay, so let's start with the breadcrumb. You put the breadcrumb in the meatballs because you want the meatballs to retain their shape. So first the breadcrumbs go in. Go. This is going to absorb some of the moisture, but you don't want them to be too dry. And that's why you put in uh, the eggs, because also the eggs, besides the fact that they are going to allow the meatballs to stick together, they also give a lot of moisture, which is delicious because no one likes a meatball that is too dry. And then the other ingredients, parmigiana always. Obviously, let's make sure that every single crumb goes in there. And now the aromatics. The missing a little bit. The lemon zest, the garlic, and then the parsley, and finally the onion. You will notice that I have not put any salt in it, and there are two reasons for it. The commercially bought um, breadcrumbs usually are very salty, so I don't want my meatballs to be basically a bite of salt first and second because obviously we're putting some parmigiano in it and that's salty too so I will taste I will first mix all this and then I will taste um, everything in the end to see if it needs any more salt but usually it doesn't I am going to beat my four eggs together you don't have to be too specific about how you beat them together just you know in order as, in order to have the egg whites and the egg yolks completely uh, mixed so here we go they go in, take every single bit of goodness from it, and now we are going to mix a little bit more. As you can see, now we have a liquid element to our um, meatball mix, and this is going to have two effects. First, it is going to absorb, uh, it is going to be absorbed by the meat, the, the breadcrumbs that are going to expand a little bit. And second, it's going to basically work like a glue for the meatballs. Now I am going to let it sit for five or ten minutes. And then after that, we are going to take matters to our hands. Five minutes have passed and I have noticed that my eggs have been completely absorbed by the meat and the breadcrumbs and the other aromatics. And I think I need a little bit more moisture. So I am beating my other two eggs and I'm adding them because I want my meatballs to be nice and juicy and I don't want them dry at all. So I am going to mix it 
with the meat and wait 10 more minutes to see if it needs anything more and I will also check for salt in case it needs any but I don't think so and then again we will take matters to our hands there are moments in the life of a person that wants to cook meatballs that you have to, to take matters to your hands I know it's gonna sound odd but I promise I washed my hands before and I'm gonna wash my hands later but now we are handling our meatballs with our hands so with a movement that goes from the bottom to the top you finish mixing this delicious meatballs and then we are going to put them um, on our baking sheet with parchment paper the reason why I'm putting parchment paper is I don't want to put any additional oil I want um, only the flavor of the meatballs to be the most important flavor of our dish so here we go let's start rolling our meatballs you can make them small you can make them big uh, you can make them even too big if they are appetizer size I would probably suggest that you use a uh, maybe a tablespoon if you want to make something a little bit bigger a little bit more Italian style you make them like this that is basically the size of the palm of your hand so here it is I'll see you in a few minutes when I'm done with the first baking sheet hey they ready for the oven yet uh, they are not ready for the oven quite yet because they still have a, lot of bit of, a little bit of dough uh, that I have to roll. But the oven is on at 350 degrees, so give me five more minutes. Nice. So here they are. Look how pretty they are. And they are going to go in the oven that I preheated at 350 degrees. Um, I think, I would say that probably is like for 20 minutes, but we are going to double check. Um, and uh, you know it's a trial and error kind of thing because none of them is exactly the same size as much as I try to so we are going to then take a bite and see if they're perfectly cooked 20 minutes have passed and we are ready so let's see oh if you could smell this I, I wish the camera had a smell feature to it it is so good Okay, so here they are. They look like this. Aren't they perfect? They are gorgeous and ready to be eaten. So, let me turn off the oven. Take the other ones from here. And, and then we're going to try it. Aren't they beautiful? They're ready to be eaten. You can put them in marinara sauce, you can use them as an appetizer, you can put them with pasta, pretty much with everything. It's just left to your inspiration and imagination. Or plain. Or plain, it's exactly. They can just you can just pop them in your in your mouth. And now let's try it. Ooh. Look at this. It's perfectly cooking the inside, it's still a little bit hot, and I'm gonna try it now. The freshness of the lemon together with the juiciness of the meat mm, and it smells amazing it smells like a piece of a Mediterranean in a meatball basically mm. they're so good try my meatballs they are not your average meatballs I promise you will not be disappointed this is Serena and I'll see you again on the next cooking in Manhattan ciao